and today I have a very exciting video for you because we've actually managed to book our ADRs, Advanced Dining Reservations, for those of you not in the Disney community. And I've been waiting for this day to come around for forever because I've been so excited to book the meals because then it feels so real that we're actually going in November. None of us have ever been to a table service restaurant in Disney World so this is really exciting for us. We also have the dining plan which is even more exciting because we have all this food for free. So just thought we'd do a quick run through of what we've actually got booked. So on the 16th of November we will be at Hollywood and Vine and that is a character buffet. It's also going to be Minnie's Christmas Dine. So from what I've seen online there seems to be lots of little Christmas themed mini desserts and the characters are all in Christmas outfits and you get a nice Christmas photo pass picture so that is going to be amazing. I love a good buffet because I get to try all things that I would never normally try anywhere else. Then on the 17th we are going to another buffet at 1900 Park Fair which is in the Grand Floridian Resort Hotel which is the most beautiful hotel I've ever seen in person in my life and we are actually going to eat in there and the funny thing is is that when we went in 2014 I walked past and was like wow I'd love to eat in that restaurant and now we are. This one is the Cinderella's Happily Ever After Dinner and again it's character buffet. I believe that Cinderella, the stepsisters, the stepmother, the prince Possibly Mary Poppins? I'm not sure. I know Alice and the Mad Hatter are at breakfast. But I think it's probably mostly Cinderella characters. I think they do like a waltz around the dining room as well. On the 18th we are at another buffet. Can you see a theme going on here? Because I can. This time it's the Crystal Palace dinner buffet. This is the night that we are going to the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas party. So I didn't have a lot of choice because I wanted to book something early so that we had time to get in the lines for all the character meet and greets and things at the Christmas party because I think they start around 7 o'clock but the, <laughs> the only time I could get was 3.20pm so it's going to be a very early tea however we will deal with that when we come to that and because it's a buffet we can just eat what we like and this buffet has Winnie the Pooh characters there on the 19th we are going to the T-Rex cafe in Disney Springs this was requested by my friend Clinton who is coming along with us and he is a big dinosaur fan so we're going to like that one. I, I've personally walked around there before and it looks awesome. On the 20th we are going for breakfast at Chef Mickey's in the Contemporary Hotel. And this again is a character buffet so we're going to get lots of character pictures which makes me very happy because I run a Disney YouTube channel. I'm also in a Disney collab channel. I have a Disney Instagram page and Tumblr and all these things that need many Disney photos. So this is perfect. And that's a breakfast buffet so there'll be like bacon, eggs, everything else anything you could really want. On the 21st we are going to the Rainforest Cafe which is a, funnily enough one of the restaurants that I've wanted to eat in for years and years and years. They have them all over, they're like a chain thing and I saw it in Disneyland Paris, I'm wanting to go in, I've seen it in London and I've never really gone in, it's more of a money thing than I want to however I'm going to get to do that so hopefully it lives up to my expectations. On the 22nd we are eating at Raglan Road in the Disney Springs area again this is an Irish pub that does Irish dancing over night time so that should be fun and the food looks like all homemade and all British things that we're probably really craving about that time. <laughs> Halfway through the holiday we're like oh I need some British food, let's go there. 23rd is beaches and cream, this wasn't even in my original plan but things changed because what I wanted to book was not available. I was hoping to book Planet Hollywood for then but apparently they're not sure if the refurb is going to be done so it wasn't even an option. So we've gone for Beaches and Cream which is home to the marvellous kitchen sink which my friend Pete is wanting to actually eat to himself but we'll see whether he manages that or not. But that's a burger parlour and I believe it's in the Beach Club Resort which would be nice to look around as well. On the 24th we are going to the, let me try and pronounce this, Akershus or Akershus Royal Banquet Hall which is in the Norway Pavilion I think of Epcot World Showcase going for the breakfast there and apparently the princesses go around there and I have been told that if you don't want to spend two credits on the Cinderella's royal table, which I don't, then the next best place to visit for the same sort of like decor and the characters and everything is the Akashus, so that's what we're doing. Plus we get to go into World Showcase early, which is cool. On the 25th we have two bookings, one for lunch and one for dinner. Lunch is the Be Our Guest, which is a quick service and I love the beef baguette there but I've also heard the croque monsieur is quite good too so I might try that instead and then for tea we have the Liberty Tree Tavern which again was not in my original plan 
but things didn't work out the way I planned and that was a backup so we have Liberty Street Tavern which apparently is like a Thanksgiving like family style buffet which means you don't get up and go and pick your own buffet they come to you with plates which is quite nice because apparently once you finish a bowl of something they will just replenish what you've eaten and obviously if you don't like something they're not going to replenish it so it's pretty cool and you don't even have to leave your chair on the 26th we are going to the Rose and Crown in the UK Pavilion at Epcot, another one that I've kind of looked at a lot of times because they do fish and chips, shepherd's pie, bangers and mash, things like that that I would miss from home about this time in the holiday. And it's been nice to sit in the UK Pavilion and all the waiters and waitresses will probably be on the cultural representative programme which is something that I looked into myself so it'd be nice to talk to them about where they come from in the UK. On the 27th, which is our last full day in the parks, we will be at Be Our Guest for our final dinner. And I'm so excited to meet the Beast, it's un unbelievable. I've wanted to go there for dinner since it opened and just couldn't justify the cost. So the dining plan is making all of our dreams come true. And I can't wait to have the steak and I, of course I want to try the grey stuff because I've heard it's delicious. And just about an hour ago I booked something for the 28th, which is the day we fly home. I decided we wanted a big breakfast before we flew all the way back to England so we have now got the Crystal Palace breakfast so we'll be going to the Crystal Palace twice. If any of my reservations you think aren't the best or you have more advice or tips I am more than willing to change. These are just what I've booked for now because I struggled to get in those ones to be honest but if you have any tips about dining or how to use the snack credits the best because there's some things where we don't have breakfast or a lunch so any tips on that, like what we can use snack credits for for breakfast or lunch would be very helpful. That's it guys, bye!